Hi, I'm Nancy Addison. I'm from Dallas, Texas. And I'm going to show you how to make chard with mushrooms today. And one of the things that I specialize in is vegetarian cooking. I grew up in Texas, so I know how to cook fish and chicken and beef and all of those things. But one of the things I've found is that most people don't know how to cook vegetables and they don't know how to prepare them. And uh, I'm a nutritionist and I studied plant-based nutrition at Cornell. And so one of my specialties is teaching people how to add more plant-based foods to their diet. And that really benefits their health. And over the last seven years, I've been writing cookbooks. And I've written How to Be a Healthy Vegetarian, and the whole first half is nutrition information. And then I've got over 100 really delicious recipes that I've developed over the years that um, I think help people put it into action. And then I've got Raising Healthy Children, and I've written Alive and Cooking. And, and those, all those books have meat, chicken, and fish recipes in them. And I can cook those just great. But one of the things that I, I really do specialize in is teaching people how to add healthy plant-based foods to their diet. So we're gonna start with an onion and I'm gonna let it saute a minute while I'm chopping up my chard and my mushrooms. And I have a red onion and probiotics that, um, are natural, naturally occurring things in an onion. And so when we use an onion, uh, we're, adding, we're supporting our immune system. And I like the red because the antioxidants are actually in the pigment of the color. So when you have more colorful food, it's much healthier for you. So we're gonna cut up this onion right here. Let me use this knife, it's a little sharper. And I, I actually like chunky onions in this because it, it gives it more flavor and it has a, a a nice texture to it. And so I'm just going to chop that up like that. And then in my pan over here, and I've got oh, my fire went off. Here it was. Um, got my pan here. I'm putting coconut oil in it that's meant to handle heat. And I like to use coconut oil because it actually has less calories in it than other oils and it handles heat better. And the fact that it has ketones in it, they've studied it to find that it helps reverse Alzheimer's. The ketones in the coconut oil allows the brain to access the glucose in the bloodstream without using insulin. So it's a, a really great thing for our brain and our brain actually works off of good fat. So I like to have a fat in all of my meals because it makes it taste more savory, but it also helps support your health. And so you always want to use a healthy fat. So we've got our onion here and we're going to let it saute just a minute until it gets a little bit translucent. And I put in just a little bit of the coconut oil for that. Let's see here. And I'm going to sprinkle just a little bit of unrefined sea salt on that. And unrefined sea salt has all the electrolytes you need for health. And um, the nutrients in there actually help break down some of the food a little bit. And it can help your body absorb more of the potassium in certain dishes. So while that's cooking, we're gonna just cut up a few of our uh, mushrooms here. And I love to use mushrooms in vegetarian dishes because sometimes people want something kind of meaty. And the mushrooms give you a kind of a meaty texture and flavor. And they're also very satisfying and they have a good amount of protein in them. So it's a good vegetarian protein. And these are some nice organic mushrooms and I'm just slicing them very simply. This is such an easy dish. So many people don't like to cook today because they think it's too time consuming and too difficult. And this is some, 
a dish I developed because I had some chard growing in my garden that just kept growing and growing and growing. And so I started inventing all these recipes with it. So I'm gonna put my mushrooms in here with my onions and just let those start to cook just a little bit while, while I cut up my chard. There we go. Just let that saute just a second there. And so this is really quick and easy. So I got my chard and a lot of people don't really know how to cook greens or how to cut them up, but I just roll them up like this. And then I just slice them into ribbons. And it makes them easier to eat for someone who's eating them. And then the thing about Swiss chard that I like other than the fact that it's got lots of nutrients and it's very colorful, but I love the stems because the crunchiness in the stem in this dish is actually really nice. So you have you know, a variety of textures, you have a variety of, of color in it, and it really is yummy. And so I'm gonna put in my greens here, and these cook down quite a bit, so we're gonna add a few there. And then I'm adding a little bit of miso to this that I've mixed with some water. And that way you can use less oil and it kind of steams your greens and it gives it a really nice savory flavor. And so you just toss this and see how bright green that is? It's just beautiful. And it just makes it taste absolutely divine. All these flavors mixing together. And that's all it takes. I mean, this is ready. So now we're gonna plate this. And one of the things I like to do, turn that off, is I'm going to do, I, I sprouted some rice and I cooked it in my wonderful rice cooker here. I love this. It's so easy for people to use and it keeps it warm until you get home. So I've, I've made some uh, whole grain sprouted rice. So this whole meal is gluten-free and uh, super healthy. And I cooked some raisins in the rice. And people think, well, you know, why would you put raisins in the rice? I love the sweetness in there. And the raisins have a, an oleanonic acid in it that actually helps prevent uh, problems with your gums and your teeth. So it, it's really good for you. And so I put it in a bowl and I'm just going to plate it like this. I'm going to put it in a little circle here. And that looks so pretty. And I'm going to take a little bit of my mixture here and put it on top. And this tastes so good. We're just going to put this right there. And along with this, I really like oranges. The oranges have a lot of vitamin C. It adds a little color. And it, and it gives it just another uh, flavor to put in there with this. So I'm going to just wipe this off here and cut this orange up. And so you have kind of a variety of, of different flavors here. Last year I studied cooking in Cambodia and in Thailand, and uh, I started using more spices and uh, various fruits with my foods. And um, I've also studied cooking in Greece and learned how to make pasta and cheese and all kinds of yummy things. And one of the things I found is that, you know, so many people, they get stuck in a rut and use the same old types of flour and the same old types of grains. And I've really enjoyed uh, experimenting with all kinds of flours and grains. And uh, I've learned about phytic acid and how to remove that from my nuts and my seeds and things so that they're more digestible. So we're gonna cut up a little orange here to put with this dish. And just think this is so pretty with the, with the um, this color here. And we're gonna put it right here with our, our dish. And you can also stack it. And, and you have 
have just a really super healthy meal very quickly that even the biggest Texan who's used to eating barbecue would love.